Welcome. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to write the equation of a plane that passes through this point here, negative 3, 2, 7, and is parallel to the xz plane. Okay, so I could easily just write out the answer, but I want to draw a picture just to make sure you understand what is happening. And my picture is going to begin with the x-axis the y-axis, and the z-axis, which is way out of place, so let me move it. There we go. And now, which plane is the x-z plane? What you've been used to working is here, the x-y plane. That's not the plane we want. We want the x-z plane, so it's definitely going to contain the x-axis, but it also needs to contain the z-axis. So the plane we're looking for is here, and I'm just going to draw a little section of it. Obviously, it goes on much further than this, but for you know the sake of fitting on this screen and on this axis that I sketched, this is what I'm using for my X Z plane. And let me color that in, lightly color that in. All right, so this is the xz plane. We want it to pass through this point, negative 3, 2, 7. So on x, and again, you don't need to do this. I just want to make sure that those of you in my class watching this understand really everything that's happening. 1, 2, 3. Here's negative 3. And actually, I won't label that. And here's 1, 2. And then up to 7. So my point then, if I graph it out using you know, part of a box like I've been doing in my classes, is right there. This is the desired point, and I'll um, actually color it in orange here. So we want our plane to go through this point and be parallel to this plane. So now I hope you can see that all this really means is we're shifting this plane forward a couple units. That's it. So the plane we want right here and I'm shading it in orange and it contains this point is right here on this plane well it's two units it's shifted two units forward so it passes through this point here so this is the plane y equals two and now in any other case you wouldn't have to sketch this those of you in my class if I give you just some some points and I say parallel to some plane I'm pretty confident that you can figure out which variable x, y, or z it is equal to. Just make a note here that if we want it parallel to the x, z plane, we use y equals a number. So take a moment, think about that independently. What would it mean if we had wanted this plane to be parallel to, say, the y, uh, x, y plane? Or what about if I had selected, say, the y, z plane? Both of those will give us different answers. All right, keep calm and math on.